Titration is a volumetric method of analysis using a burette to measure volumes very precisely. Commonly, titrations are used to analyze acids and bases in which a solution of known concentration is used to titrate an unknown solution. A plot of pH versus volume of base added is shown in the figure. Notice that the curve has a gradual increase in pH until there is a sharp rise. This inflection point is called the end point or equivalence point for the titration. The end point represents the time when the stoichiometric equation is satisfied. In this case, the pH rise occurs when there is exactly a 1 to 1 mole ratio between NaOH and HCl. In order to find the end point, an indicator is used. The indicator exhibits a color change as the pH is varied. In this case, phenolphthalein is used as the indicator. The phenolphthalein changes from colorless in acid to pink in base. The examples show an acidic solution on the left, a basic solution on the right, and a solution at the end point in the center. You should try to add base until the color of the solution just turns pink. One single drop. When setting up your burette, rinse the insides with the analyte solution and be sure the liquid drains properly. This burette is dirty and needs to be cleaned. Before starting the titration, be sure to expel air bubbles from the tip. They may be removed by quickly opening the stopcock several times. Note the small air bubble here. Be sure to read the burette correctly. Read the burette at eye level. Too high is on the left or too low as on the right and you will have errors. An index card with a dark line held behind the burette makes reading the burette easier. Be sure to record the correct level of precision two decimal places.